I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm asking what is that? That's a camera. Um, this show is like the diving. Yeah, I have a I have a YouTube channel, so I filmed my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Just kind of film my day. Awesome. Yeah. Good morning vloggers, I am late. I'm on my way to do a podcast with Just Mike, or Mike, or formerly Mike Stud. But, been trying to do this podcast for a good long time, just never really worked out. He happens to be out here in Arizona right now. I am out here in Arizona right now as well, obviously. So we're gonna meet up and shoot the breeze for a little bit. Good to see you, man. Same. Steve! What's up, Steve? He loves the What's up? <laughs> this your spot? Yeah, we're here for the winter. Sick. Yeah. Boys, what's up? Sick. What's up, everyone? You know I had to wear the deep shirt for you. Look at that. I know you're a Duke guy. 91 Devils, too. Come on, baby. Pool table's sick. Who's the who's the pool shark here? Anyone get a pool? Uh, it's out. John, Johnny lives with us. Too. Oh, Johnny's yeah. here. Oh, yes. I think he's out golfing now. It's actually of birthday. course he's out. Birthday, obviously. Um, Why would Johnny be in the house? Yeah, I mean, this is an office space over here. Three bedrooms over here. The view is sick. The view yeah. is sick. That's part of the house. Yeah. yeah. Sunsets. I'm because uh, the sunsets right out there, right? Yeah. We have the back view right here. I like the view and just let it fly. Right? Usually, you, you record right here. Right here. I guess this room is actually very, very optimal for sound. But dude, it's like diagonal I very, walls. I very rarely have like sound issues. Just with this, like this is shield. Yeah. Really high quality mic. You record everything just right there. All your shit. Everything right there. You ever go in the studio, or you just travel and like? I mean, I had a full studio in my LA house, so yeah. I didn't. I never really needed to. Yeah. And I, I work alone. I'm like independent, man. Right. I'm not. I'm not. That's the be that's the best way to do it. Now you can do every, like, you got a setup like that. You can do anything anywhere. Is there any aspect of that that you think played like a, a part in your success this year? Was it, yes. was there, a, I'm a preparer, you yeah. know, um, I spend my life in the gym, working mm -hmm. out, studying, like all, that, that's all I do. Hitters going to be behind. Never thought of that. And I was going to be ahead of pitchers and I was like, I, this is going to be a good, a good situation. Plus I had like seven months of development time, which you never get that uninterrupted. So I made a lot of improvements strength wise, like ability wise, worked on my command a ton, worked on much other stuff. So, like, I knew I had a, a leg up. Awesome podcast with the one and only Mike Period, uh, formerly the artist known as Mike Stutt. Uh, awesome spot that he's got there, too. The view's crazy. Uh, just killing life. Love to see it. But, like everybody else, trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what makes him happy, and I'm trying to figure out what makes me happy is the whole deal. So, had a fantastic conversation. This is a good time to plug it. Go check out Mike's podcast. We'll put that link in the description below if you want to see that conversation that I just had. And uh, yeah, now I'm off to the gym to get a little training in. Quick, let's talk about benching for a second. Bench gets a, a bad rap for uh, being, you know, bad for pitchers. It's not, but you got to do it the right way. For me, as I'm pulling my arm back, when I get too deep, see how my shoulder rounds? I don't have the range of motion to go any further than about this, which means I can't move the bar all the way down to my chest without uh, rounding my shoulder. Everyone's shoulder is slightly different. You'll have slightly different range than I have. But that's why I, I pad my chest and why we lift with this camber bar here. See, normally this is the opposite way. It's flipped this way, upside down, kind of like this, so that it can bend around your chest so you can get deeper and get more pec activation. But my shoulders can't go that deep, so I lift with it this way so that there's a little bit of space here and I put this pad on my chest so that uh, I have a little bit of a, a cushion there. So. I can't go any deeper than my shoulders can handle. <laughs> Dean, what do you got? What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna try and film stuff on my own today. Uh, 
I'm having a really hard time taking after that lift. I'm on my way to see the chiropractor uh, because last night during my lift, when I failed my squat and Dean had to help me up, uh, my back got a little bit squirrely on me. I think my hips are a little bit out of alignment, nothing bad, but uh, something that I go through pretty routinely because my hips are kind of oddly shaped. So we're gonna go get that fixed. How's it going, Doc? What's up, TV? Start my own little gym. Trevor, is this too much right here? No. Nope. How are the kids doing? Nice. Oh, yes. Oh. Dr. Craig Rinaldi, what a guy. He always takes care of me, treats me extremely well. I'm very appreciative of him. If you're in the Phoenix area, definitely look him up. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? No way being shirtless. We used to get down to like freaking underwear and get whacked. What do you got here? Uh, so Dean thinks I suck at pitching. So he bet me that I couldn't hit 92.5. I couldn't get a swing and a miss. And then I couldn't walk a guy. And I didn't because the guy swung at a 3-2 fastball inside. So I get to shoot Dean with the paintball because that's the bet we had beforehand. Dean, how are you feeling right now? It's just gonna suck. Where do you think you're gonna get hit? Uh, middle of the back. That's where I think I'm gonna get hit. Wow, did you hear that? I, do it again? I don't know if I can do it again. Oh, there okay. we go. Guy, waste wow. It all? I don't hey, chill out. I don't either, so. <laughs> Let's do oh. it. it. That was your trigger pull. You wasted it shooting the ceiling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that that's what that's what should have happened. As soon as I bent over to show it, I should have just gotten waxed. <laughs> oh, oh my God, yeah, that came out dude, hot. It's ridiculous. Think yes. I hit the same spot twice. Oh, oh, you're screwed. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty close. That's that's pretty close. That's a that's a tight spray pattern. This is it. I love right. it. Don't miss. Here we go. I'm ready. How'd that feel? Um, it sucked. It's fine. I'm definitely <laughs> underplaying it because it hurts a lot. Um, but, but I'll survive. Back online. Do that again. You, like ended your life. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chalupa. Do you know anything about First Star Logistics? They're a company in Cincinnati that's sponsoring the vlog. Did you know they're a global shipping and logistics company that's dedicated to helping businesses do business? I did, now that you say it, and they would love to give people who are good at sales a job. Did you know that they're one of Cincinnati's fastest growing companies? I did, I did know that. I learned it from you though. Did you know that they also enjoy taking care of their people and they offer the highest commissions in the game? Pretty sweet, I did not. Fun, fast-paced work environment too, which, you know, you could you could utilize some of that. You could go on a little higher pace, right? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just abandon my job now. I mean, honestly, it would be my fallback job if it weren't for baseball. They're offering some big league cash too. I, mean, I know you could use some of that. Everyone could, right? I think you could use some of that. I could definitely use some big league cash. I might go check out uh, firststarlogistics.com and every member of the vlog should go check out firststarlogistics.com and tell them Trevor sent you. Or you can call 844-699-6747 and have a conversation. Now you're educated, Chalupa. Thank you, I appreciate that. We are off to a hot start this morning. I just got done with my first off-season drug test. Just a drug test, so nothing to be scared of. Ooh, I'm excited. What kind of drugs are we testing? <laughs> <laughs> I get a call yesterday from a lady at CDT, and she asks if I'm still in the location that I provided during the season. So I have to, at the end of the season, I have to fill out a form that says where I'm gonna be at what time, basically every single day of the off-season. Now you can change it along the way, but every time you travel, if you didn't have it on the list, you have to call in or notify someone of where you're going to be. If I'm out of the country or if I can't complete that drug test within 24 hours, then it's a positive. So 
pretty important that you tell them where you're going to be. You have to go in the restroom and, um, you know, shirt around your mid torso and pants around your mid thigh and he has to watch you pee in a cup. Usually that'll happen once in off season, uh, sometimes two. I've had it happen twice in one off season. Normally it's just one time. Um, and I don't think there's been an off season where I haven't gotten tested. So that's a little bit about the drug testing program. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another box from Nike. I'm gonna open that up and see what's inside it because the uh, last one was pretty cool. Shoe box. I uh, just got some cleats. Hello, hope you and yours are doing well this holiday season. These cleats are your special makeups from last year or the year prior. Hopefully you can use them for donation requests or keep them on hand for your collection. Thanks, your friends at Nike Baseball. So I guess the 30 pairs that I currently have weren't enough. So we have some from the past year and these are from the year prior. Looks like we got five pairs of cleats. These are all the cleats that I've worn the past couple years. These are my road cleats when I was with Cleveland. We got the lightning on it for Bauer outage. We got outage right there, and then this one says Bauer. We got the Bauer logo. Uh, I got the Bauer logo on the back, and on the bottom, we got some more lightning. So those gray ones are the same as these red ones, just different, uh, different colors. So these are my home cleats. And then this year we have the, uh, I detailed these already, we got the mustache, we got 513 for Cincinnati. The whole shoe itself is kind of a, uh, an ode to the big red machine in the style. So we have some drawings down here and then we have big red machine written on uh, the bottom of the cleats, the big red machine. We're gonna do a giveaway of these five pairs of cleats I'll sign them and I'll get them sent off to lucky members of the vlog. Uh, I don't know what the rules are gonna be for the giveaway, so we should think about the rules and then we can cut that segment in right here.